Hello YouTube, me again. I did upload a video about my CNC controller a few hours ago. I don't remember one or two hours ago. And I had a viewer, Raul, ask me about a controller for a PNP. And I have that. This is the board I designed for a four axis since you need four real axes on a PNP, um, I did design a board. It uses the XMEG, um, XMEGA 192A3 uh, microcontroller. And it does have a whole bunch of features. And I want to tell you about those if I remember them because I actually designed this board may of 2018 so it's been well over two years ago and uh, i do forget what i do what i did last week so i might not remember much about this but uh it's a pretty nice board i have to say and the silk screen on it is exceptional you can actually read everything on it so let me start with the main features so it is a four axis board it has the xmega 192a3 chip it has four onboard drv8825 stepper drivers if your pnp uses a low power nema 23 or even nema 17 uh, stepper motors because pnp doesn't move much load just uh, the machine itself so even small um, stepper motors are enough and on my uh, pnp that i'm still building or actually i'm not building it anymore it's just sitting there um, i have nema 17 motors for the x-axis i have one nema 23 for the y-axis and i have a i think it's a nema 14 yeah i think it's a 14 for the z-axis to lift the nozzle and the nema i think it's a 11 or something like that with a hole in the shaft for the actual pickup and rotating the part so that's why you need four real axes so it gets connected over USB obviously same connector as on my CNC board it has the FT 230XS USB to serial adapter chip it has on volt 12 volt regulator 5 volt regulator and a 3.3 volt regulator it has a read relay for any switch that you want to turn on and off like camera for example it has limit inputs on both sides of the uh, axis so you have a x minimum x maximum limit input and for all the axes including the z uh, you have a pwm output you have what was that I'm not sure what that is. As I said, I forgot. I've uh, oh okay. Um, this is a uh, the y-axis uh, step and direction uh, and enable. It has I think enable for all or no they're together. So it has one enable for all the stepper motors, which is sufficient. Obviously, you don't want to stop one motor and leave the other motor um free falling or free running so and then um you have the a axis step direction and an enable oh actually do i have i have two enables on there i'm not sure why um and then you have the stepper output for the from the drvs uh actually oh yes what well, this board has you don't have to use four drv 8825s you can use a bigger stepper driver 
for the y-axis for example because that's the axis that has the most load on it and here you have the uh, step and direction outputs for those axes so you can use that you can make a combination of it and I have all step and enable axes there also up here uh, actually I do have enable for each output because uh, obviously if you have uh, part DRV8825 and part of a external stepper driver you need obviously uh, separate enable pins which of course do get run at the same time but you need the extra output so I do have those and here are the motor outputs from the uh, DRV8825s you have um, level shifting because the chip runs on 3.3 volts but uh, if you need 5 volt for your external stepper driver you have uh, converter chips here that go from 3.3 up they convert it up to 5 volts so that's what those are for you have them also here and you here you have the um, z-axis and uh, b-axis uh, with the enable and um, step and direction outputs and uh, here is actually the power input 24 volts here you have another PWM output oh this is yes oh, well, I told you I will not remember all of it all, this, all at the same time um, this is the P PWM output for a spindle. Well, you don't have a spindle, but I designed this not only for a PNP in mind, but also for a four axis CNC. So you do have a spindle uh, output, spindle enable, spindle direction output. So you have those as well. And the read relay is for the spindle enable output. There you have it, yes. And uh, what else? What else? You have. Uh, aux pins that you can connect to uh, I guess there are four of them and here's again your RXTX input detail serial input plus you have let me show it this way you have a SPI output of the chip that you can use for something else if you want to drive a display or whatever you want so I have that as well uh, this is the LM358 for the PMW output, PWM output, I'm sorry. This is the potentiometer for adjusting the voltage. And this is the IS, oh no, this doesn't have ISP. This has the PDI uh, in six pin interface to upload uh, the bootloader to the chip. That's what you need. You need an extra programmer for that. And uh, what else? You have, of course, the 5 volt, 12 volt, and 3.3 volt LEDs. So you know that your power is working. Uh, you have the reset switch over here. You have also, again, RX and TX LEDs. And I think this was it. Yeah, this was it, and I do have, I seldom have, but I do have a stencil for this board. So actually, um, putting the solder paste on this one will be easy, because I do not want to do this by hand. That would be uh, crazy, 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 crazy work. And the way I use to align the stencils... To the board is with the mounting holes as you can see you have four mounting holes and you have the same mounting holes on the um, stencil and all I have to do is make a board or I use actually the piece of wood I don't know exactly what it's called but that's what they ship the stencils in two of them and then the stencil is in between that's how they ship them so all, all I have to do is put this on here drill four holes put a pin through it or a screw from underneath 
and I showed that before in one of my videos put the PCB onto those pins uh -huh. cat is climbing up my window here and destroying the oh you hear it destroying the um, the thing that you have in front of the window so the flies don't come in uh, <laughs> anyhow you have the four pins sticking out and then you put your stencil on it and then it will be aligned and there's no way to move it around so if I put the four holes on here well it would help if the stencil is the wrong way around <laughs> um, so where are the mounting holes one two so as you see once you have the mounting po uh, holes aligned the stencil is aligned and then it just take the solder paste squish it over with a credit card or something similar and you have it actually i'm really lazy sometimes i should finish this thing up and connect it finally to my pnp because then my pnp would actually run hmm, imagine that so but uh i mean i get orders like one of this and one of the other and to set up the pnp to populate a single board uh, it's more work than just populating the board by itself so that's why i did not really had the need to push other things aside to finish the pnp but uh, i really should do it too, shouldn't i i have everything else i have the camera i have uh, the software i will will use uh what was it called light light pnp or something like that i don't remember right now but it's a open source code that runs on the X Mega chip and uh, I would be apart from doing adjustments I would be ready to go but uh, I never finished this thing and I do have all the parts actually I ordered everything on here so I should really uh, finish it up so maybe Raul uh, will want to buy this uh, then I would have a reason to actually do finish it up um, anyhow this is my PNP slash real 4 axis CNC controller or PNP controller if you want to use it for that and uh, I think it has all the features needed to do so and um, yeah, I might finish it one day. Okay, this was it. Thanks for watching and thank you for your question. Raul, this video is for you. And I will upload it now. Thanks everybody and take care.